Hello everyone, this is Amritpal Singh. Uh, I'm here to present my second video on Apache Scoop. Today uh, we're going to learn that how one can install Apache Scoop on the Ubuntu machine. Uh, as you can see on the front of your screen right now is that I've already opened the downloads page of uh, Apache Scoop and the recent, the most recent version of Apache Scoop is 1.4.7. Uh, like uh, this is a link from where uh, you need to download this one and you need to just download this file which is have a suffix.tar.gz uh, don't download the other one it should be this one only uh, when you click on it it is just one just a 17 MB software and when you click on it uh, it will uh, ask you to download on the machine so click yes and it will download the zipped file once you have a zipped file with with you you need to extract the file and then you need to uh, like store in any particular location as I can now show you here that I've already put that file in my uh, home location the file is available like this I've already renamed it to scoop okay so don't worry like if you don't want to rename it's your wish uh, but otherwise this is the directory scoop like I've put it uh, in my home location after uh, you have downloaded the file and uh, you have extracted the uh, particular software uh, then you need to put that path in the bash rc as I've already stated, stated in my other videos as well like in the case of storm that whenever you are downloading any particular thing on the internet uh, from uh, any particular source you need to give the path to it right and you know that the bash rc is the one where we give where we uh, define our environment variables so similarly for this particular thing as well we need to open up the bash rc as I've already uh, like configured my bash rc I can show you for your knowledge that how to give the path right you can see here this is my scoop home right this is just a two lines you need to add to your uh, bash rc uh, like uh, as i've already have installed my uh, scoop in my home location my home location is home amrit so this is my directory okay so, so don't worry this is the like a shortcut uh, name i've given to that uh, complete bigger name otherwise if you want to keep the original name it's up to you but I have renamed to the scoop so don't worry like it will be different in your case right it will be the uh, the fully qualified name not that short one and after giving this export a uh, scoop home scoop home is my environment variable and give the path as well because you all know that all the configurable uh, or the script files are available under the bin location that's the reason for every software we give the path to the bin directory so these two lines need to be appended to the bash rc once you have appended these two lines to the bash rc you have to click on save close the window and then you need to run one command which is source bash rc this command will uh, update all the information that you have recently added to the bash rc once you have done this one uh, so it means scoop is a little bit ready uh, one thing you need to uh, do after this is you need to uh, download the um, connector file because here you know that apache scoop is used to transfer the files or transfer the data between the sdfs and uh, rdbms so like we need some connector file so this connector file you will you'll get from this link as i've already opened that one this link you need to uh, get the file so this is the mysql downloads page and i have uh, using this file which is java 5.1.47.tar.gz uh, so I'm again stressing on this point is that you need to download the the, the file which is uh, this is already downloading now it's just a 4 MB software so you need to download as I've already have so I'm just cancelling it okay you need to download a software which is having a suffix as .tar.gz right so this is the particular thing which I'm downloading right now so after you have a uh, file, uh, after you have uh, downloaded this uh, zipped uh, folder, you need to uh, like do the same action that you did with the scoop uh, folder because scoop folder also was a zipped one, right? Again, extract it. After you after you extract it, you'll get the folder. I can show you here. I've already I've already have this. Um, this is my file. This is the connector file, right? So when you when you open up here, this is my connector. After this, under this, you'll get one file I can show you this one this particular jar you need to extract and you need to place under the lib folder of apache scoop okay I'm again recalling it after you have downloaded this mysql connector java 5.1.4 tar gz file you need to extract you'll get one folder inside the uh, folder you'll get a 
a jar jar file right which is uh, having this name it's just a 1 mb uh, file which is mysql connector java 5.1.47 .jar right so after you get this you need to place under the lib folder of scoop i can show you i've already have placed under lib folder so how it look like under lib folder you can see it here mm, yeah this is the one okay so after you place it here the last point is okay i hope it is fine till this point so once you have downloaded the scoop once you have installed or configured the scoop path and next path next step was just to uh, get the jar file after you have both the things done now you are ready with the scoop right how you can check it out just see now it's fine so simply write then scoop hyphen version you can check here this is a 5. sorry 1.4.7 if you are getting the same message it means everything is fine this is how uh, like you can install scoop okay i'm just recalling it okay uh, like one thing i want to say is like in as a, as in other softwares also like right, the prerequisite for scoop is java hadoop after you have be these two things available with you then you need to install scoop right so for scoop we need to download go to the downloads page okay and go to the downloads page and get the scoop the 1.4.7 it's the uh, latest version okay uh, you need to extract the folder okay and then place in, in in any particular location and then give the path of that location in the bash rc and after giving the path to the bash rc the next step is to get the connector file the connector file you'll get and uh, under this link which i'm showing in on the screen right now again uh, i'm using 5.1.47 uh the path or the file should be ended with tar.gz okay i'm again stressing on this point okay so tar.gz file you need to place uh, you need to extract this uh, and you need to get the jar file out of it and this jar file need to be placed under the lib folder of the scoop after you done with this and then you can verify that scoop is working or not simply write scoop hyphen version it will verify that the scoop is available and it is of 1.4.7 okay uh, i hope uh, like uh, you must have understood this and you must have uh, like uh, noted down these steps for installation and if if you have any doubt or you have any concern i'm i'm open to all the questions I kindly comment it thanks for watching